There's the dreaded blood clot producers. And here's the criminals behind the mastermind of the egg conspiracy causing blood clots. <laughs> Welcome to Built on Faith Homestead. My name is Justin. I live with my wife, Melissa. Uh, we have three kids and we just live in a tiny house and we do the best we can to serve the Lord and live a self-sustainable life. And man, we have a lot of work to do in both of those areas, a lot of room for improvement. Uh, and we recognize that and we are actively trying to improve in those areas of our life. Uh, I want to talk about this egg thing for just a little while. So my whole life, uh, eggs have been a debated issue. They're good for you. They're bad for you. I looked up a while ago just for fun if they help with strokes, right? Uh, if they help you to prevent strokes or whatever. And like every other article, one was like, absolutely, an egg a day or two eggs a day helps keep you from having a stroke. Uh, and the next article would be like, nope, nope, nope. It increases your risk for stroke, right? Uh, in fact, my stepdad, he used to, whenever he was uh, younger, uh, he'd go to the doctor or whatever, the doctor would tell him, you know, don't eat this and go eat that and whatever. And he'd say, well, they know. They can't decide whether or not the egg's good for you or not. Uh, which is, you know, uh, a lot of truth to that statement. There's no doubt about that. And so, uh, as I've seen this story of uh, apparently some sort of um, test or some sort of study was done to say, hey, there may be a compound in eggs that uh, makes you have strokes or makes you have blood clots, right? Um, they say, I mean, you can say the same thing, I guess, about, you know, any sort of green leafy thing that's got vitamin K in it. Um, I want to have a bit of a brainstorming with you here today, if I can do that. So, uh, what would be the purpose? What, are, what is the purpose of putting out this information? Could the purpose be that they actually do increase your risk for blood clots? I mean, potentially, uh, I guess it's there. Um, could the purpose be to play the blame game to cover up the tracks for something else that is causing blood clots and myocarditis and heart failure and heart issues and doctors doing autopsies, finding all sorts of crazy blood clots in people? And could, could it have anything to do <laughs> with covering that up? No, surely not covering up the doohickey. We wouldn't do that, right? Uh, could it have anything to do with supply and demand? So most of you guys know if you buy eggs at the grocery store right now, prices have went through the roof. There's supposedly not very many eggs around or not enough eggs around because there's not enough chickens around from the avian bird flu. So if we can scare people and keep them from wanting to eat eggs, then uh, the demand is not quite so strong, hopefully bringing the price down. Uh, could it be something like that? Could it be something... Um, as simple as uh, trying to get people, if, if you start on this homesteading life, right? If you decide you want to try to be self-sufficient as possible, chickens is a great place to start because you can provide meat, you can provide eggs, you can provide fertilizer, all of those kinds of things. Uh, it's a fantastic way to get a start on being self-sufficient. So is it a, a ploy to scare people from being self-sufficient? Is it all of the above or part of all of the above? Is it maybe three, two or three out of the four or five uh, of those ideas. My question to you, please comment down below. Uh, if you do not comment down below, it will make this brainstorm very short. It'll just be my brainstorming, which doesn't take very long. Um, but you comment down below. What are your thoughts? Why do you think this information is coming out? Do you really think that they increase your risk for blood clots? Or do you think that there's maybe, potentially, something else behind it? Or maybe some of both. Maybe there is a compound in them. Just like there is compounds in leafy greens called vitamin K that may cause you to have thicker blood or cause you to clot up. And maybe that's being used as a scare tactic to scare people away from being self-sufficient, from eating foods that in moderation are really good for you. Did you know too much H2O will kill you? <laughs> right? I mean, too much water. Too much water is going to kill you. Um, I haven't paid attention to it in a long time, but in fact, it used to be, it seemed like every year, um, there were news reports out of like, uh, at some college, um, during initiation weeks, um, you know, one of the initiate, like drink as much water as fast as you can as possible, right? 
and people would get too much water and die, right? So, uh, I mean, the devil really likes to take just a little bit of truth and um, twist it into something that it's not. And so, what are your thoughts? Comment down below. We appreciate you guys watching. We'll catch you on the next video. Once again, remember all the chickens, all the eggs that you ever eat in your entire life. None of that's going to matter. None of it's going to matter at all. It's all going to burn up one of these days. What's really going to matter is whether or not you are following the Lord to the best of your ability, loving God with all of your heart, loving your neighbor, doing the best you can to serve Him, trusting in His grace, depending on His love, and walking by His Spirit. We appreciate you guys. Next time.